welcome back to basketball from the Bloomfield's uh, 50th Christmas tournament. And uh, this game is game number five. And we're going to see the fifth seeded uh, East Prairie Eagles against the uh, Van Buren, uh, 12 seed Van Buren team. And uh, Tommy, uh, Van Buren is not very tall. No, they're not. They're all about the same size. And uh, East Prairie comes in with a, a, a big height advantage according to the figures we have. Yeah, uh, I've not seen Van Buren saw East Prairie play one time down the Clarkton or the Hawkeum tournament. Pretty nice team. Uh, the coaches must have thought they were pretty good, seed them up there in, in the fifth spot. But uh, you never know. This Van Buren team may be quick, may be up and down the court, but they are smaller. They're going to have to play good defense because they're sure going to be at a disadvantage on the boards. Well, sometimes now uh, I've been in that situation as a coach. Sometimes you show your players short. Sometimes you show them taller right. than what they are just to – try to psych everybody out they look a little bigger than uh, uh on the floor of course we're way up high but they look a little bigger than uh, than what they uh, show on the uh, uh the program right looks like van buren's got a lot of sophomores they're playing a lot of sophomores they're in a rebuilding uh, year and uh they are co uh, coached van buren uh, bulldogs coached by paul lynch assistant is uh, brad uh, bachelor they come in with a record of three wins, four losses. East Prairie, on the other hand, seated fifth in this tournament with five wins, two losses. Their coach is uh, Matt Shonoff and uh, David Kirby. And uh, we have seen East Prairie play earlier this year down to Holcomb Tournament, and uh, they were still had a little football in them. And yes, I think Coach says they, you know, they're getting that worked out every game. Uh, they're very happy. Uh, this is the third year in a row that they've met Van Buren in the yes, opening that right. round. That's yeah. right. But the first year they've been seated right. uh, higher than, than Van Buren. So uh, we're looking for a good game. Uh, Coach Lynch uh, spoke with him early, and he was he was very uh, very pleased, and uh, he's looking forward to uh, to this uh, this game. Well, that's good. You know, my hat's off to Van Buren for the trip they have to make over here anyway. Pretty good ways away. And Van Buren normally puts a pretty competitive team on the court. Yep. Well, Tommy, a lot of things going on in this 50th uh, Christmas tournament. I uh, hope uh, you folks, uh, by the time you watch the game, some of them are, this tournament will already be uh, concluded. But, again, we just hope uh, that, that you cherish the moments. And, and right. uh, th this is something special for all the uh, student athletes that are yeah. playing. Also, all the fans that come back each and every year, those that have played in it. Uh, we're very happy to have uh, uh, Terry Turlington and Jim Hall to do every other game for us. Those guys got tons of experience. Uh, they, uh, they do a great job. I've listened to them, yeah. and uh, they, they bring a lot of experience to the table. You were talking about that a while ago. There was a, a gentleman had had a Puxico high school jacket on and had the year of 1952 on the back of it. It had state champs. Oh, I wonder who that was. I don't know. I was trying to uh, – I couldn't get around him, and, and uh, I'd say he was on one of that real good Puxico team. <laughs> oh, my dad would have uh, enjoyed talking to him because he, he thought that was the era of fast breaks. Yeah. And Puxico brought it to uh, southeast Missouri, and they uh, – what they did, he said, they never dribbled the ball. They just threw the ball and, and uh, got it down the floor and uh, went without uh, with that, went without dribbling. I said, I'd like to have seen that. Yeah, that's uh, right. Because today we think you've got to dribble before you shoot. Right. Uh -huh. Or dribble sometime and you rebound, you yeah. got to put it on the oh, floor you before you take it back. Floor, break it down. <laughs> you know, when, when, you're, when you're tall, you got to break it down to those 5'5 five, five guys that's let right. them have an opportunity to get a hold of the ball. Let them have a chance. <laughs> We're getting ready to uh, start game five. Starting lineups will be announced. And uh, – we're we're looking uh, forward to uh, bring you this game, and uh, Tommy Jacobs along with Bill Hampton, Eric Hendricks is uh, on the camera. We also have Travis Gregory that's going to be keeping up with the turnovers. We got Stan Durham's going to be uh, the the uh, announcer and also public address announcer, and you got Lonnie Hutchison is going to be the uh, uh, scorekeeper. The referees in this game will be Todd Turlington, Joe Baldwin, and Jay Cookson. We got a, some good refs in this game. Had good oh. refs all day. Yep. For the Van Buren Bulldogs, you have number one, Matt Crafton. He's a 5'6 junior. Number 10, a 5'5 junior, is Ian Newberry. You've got uh, number 14, a senior, a 5'10", Tanner Smith. Number 15, a 5'10", junior, Brandon Tucker, and a 5'7", senior, Curtis Burke, number 21. Again, uh, Van Buren coached by Paul Lynch, assistant coach Brad Batchelor. Come in with a record of three wins, four losses. 
These Prairie Eagles with five wins, two losses. Matt Schoenhoff, the coach, assistant coach David Kirby. And uh, number one, Randy Woods, a 5'10 senior. Number four, M.C. Williams. He is a 5'10 sophomore. Number 42, Tyler Branham, a 6'3 senior. Number 44, Tony Jones, a 6'3 junior. And number 32, Paris Tipler, a 5'10 senior. This Jones kid's a good player. He is a good player. We saw him last year, saw him earlier this year. Good football player. Yes, sir. Just an all-around good sure athlete. Is. And, you know, I think anybody with the name of Tipler can play. <laughs> Tipler's a good football player, too. Oh, yes. Look at the shoulders on Tipler. Look like, look like a linebacker. Imagine he plays anywhere he wants to. I'd say right. We're a little bit behind on schedule time-wise. And uh, we really were about uh, 18 minutes behind. This game was supposed to start at 3.30, and it's uh, almost 10 to 4. And with all the games being uh, really uh, uh, widespread, it's right. kind of unusual. That's right. Jumping center for the East Prairie Eagles will be Tony Jones for the Van Buren Bulldogs will be Tanner Smith. Joe Baldwin will toss the ball up as we get ready to start. Game number five of eight on the first day of the Bloomfield Christmas Tournament. Van Buren looks like uh, they're going to concede the tip. Jones tips the ball. He tips it right to Tipler. Tipler in for a, a jump shot. No good. Jones rebound. No good. Rebound by the big boy as he puts it up. That was Branham, no good. Uh, Van Buren with the rebound and off of their fingertips, out of bounds, stays with the East Prairie Eagles. Game just underway. East Prairie in white, Van Buren in black. Woods with the basketball, gives to Tipler. Boy, Tipler's built, look at those oh, shoulders on now. him. He doesn't need uh, shoulder pads to play no, football. I don't think so. He's gonna drive, gives off what to Jones. Pass. Jones misses the layup on the floor of the Van Buren Bulldogs, and coming away with it is Newberry. Ian Newberry with a basketball, no score. Driving as Brandon Tucker puts up a shot, no good. I'll ball off the fingertips of Branham of the East Prairie Eagles. Chipwood or Crafton to uh, inbounds for the Bulldogs. Bounce pass inside, taken away by Branham. Tipler with a basketball for the Eagles. No score. 7-10 to go in the first quarter. Tipler drives in. Has a ball tipped away. And Van Buren off and running. Burke has a basketball. Drives in. Kicks the ball back out. Ball kicked out to Newberry. He puts up a three-pointer. No good. Tipler down the floor. Oh, nice pass nice over. Pass. Nice pass. No look pass that time. Missing the short shot was M.C. Williams. Van Buren on the run. Newberry with a basketball. Kicks it back to Tucker. Tucker inside to Burke. Burke scores it. Burke took it right to the big boy that took time. Took it right to him. Van Buren draws first in this tournament. 2 nothing over East Prairie. Tipper with the ball. Van Buren in a man-to-man. -man. Soft jump shot out the top of the key and by Branham. Draws nothing. Goes out of bounds. Van Buren will control. Ball to Newberry. He's going to be double teamed in the corner. East Prairie's good at the press. Yes, they are. Van Buren turns it over. Branham has a basketball. Down, and now Van Buren takes it back. Newberry steals it away. Good hustle by the guard. Kicks the ball over to Tucker. Tucker in the corner. Thought about it. Now he comes in and shoots a 12-footer off the side of the uh, backboard. Jones with the rebound. Down to Woods. Woods puts up a layup. Scores it. Game tied. 2-2 with 5.50 to go in the first period. Van Buren and East Prairie. East Prairie with the takeover. Right back to Woods. Good. 4-2. East Prairie likes that ball to come into the yeah, corner. Sure they like do. the double team right off that. Burke with a basketball. Kicks it down to Crafton. Crafton, nice bounce pass that time. No call. Nice bounce pass to Tucker. Sure Tucker missed the crip shot. Ball out of bounds, and East Prairie will control. 5-28, first quarter. East Prairie in white with four points. Van Buren in the black with two. 
Game number five of game eight for the first day of the Bloomfield 50th Christmas Tournament. Woods with a basketball. He drives in. Kicks the ball back to Branham. Branham from uh, 12 scores it. Nice turnaround shot from Branham that time. Sure was. Tyler Branham with his first two, 6-2. Van Buren trying to run the ball, doing a nice job they getting sure it out. Are. Sure We've are. got a push foul that time on Paris Tipler of East Prairie. Van Buren will inbound under their own basket. Inbounding will be Matt Crafton. He's a 5'6 junior. He inbounds to Ian Newberry. Newberry out to Tucker. Tucker back to Newberry. Newberry's going to drive. Puts up a jump shot along the baseline. No good. Rebound. Oh, my goodness. Nice oh, rebound. Yeah, nice and nice in rebound. By took it right back in there. Sure did. Little man got in there and got the rebound and just took it right to the hole. 6-4 with 4.40 to go in the first quarter. East Prairie on top. Tipler on the drive. Puts up a running layup. No good. Rebound. Branham puts it up and in. Tyler Branham with uh, his second bucket of the quarter. 8-4. Down in the corner is Newberry. Kicks the ball off to Burke. Burke, oh, nice pass nice into pass. Smith. Smith jump shot from the free throw line. Couldn't get it to go. Jones rebound down to Woods. Woods on the layup, scores it. Randy Woods with six points. All in the paint. Turnover by Crafton. Here goes Woods in for a layup. Scores it. Now that pressure is bothering Van Buren. We've got timeout on the floor in the first period of this fifth game of the Bloomfield 50th Christmas Tournament. It is uh, East Prairie 12, Van Buren 4. We'll be right back. Three Rivers Community College is a great place. A great place. A great place to start college or career classes. Three Rivers affordable tuition. Means Pell Grants go further. I can use A+. I got a scholarship. To learn more, go to trcc.edu or call 877-TRY-TRCC. Get started at TRCC. Enroll now for summer and fall classes at TRCC. Three Rivers Community College is a great place. A great place. A great place to start college. Why pay university prices? When the same classes at TRCC cost a lot less. I can use A+. I get individual attention. I'm close to home. To learn more, go to trcc.edu or call 877-TRY-TRCC. Get started at TRCC. Enroll now for summer and fall classes at TRCC. Three Rivers Community College is a great place. A great place. A great place to start career training. At TRCC, I'm getting training for a good job with a good salary. Three Rivers has high-tech equipment. Great instructors. And convenient classes. To learn more, go to trcc.edu or call 877-TRY-TRCC. Get started at TRCC. Enroll now for summer and fall classes at TRCC. Three Rivers Community College is a great place. A great place. A great place to start career training. At TRCC, I'm getting training for a good job with a good salary. Three Rivers has high-tech equipment. Great instructors. And convenient classes. To learn more, go to trcc.edu or call 877-TRY-TRCC. Get started at TRCC. Enroll now for summer and fall classes at TRCC. You know, the pressure's starting to bother Van Buren. And then they're, they're having trouble getting the ball off the board down here. And, and the big boys for East Prairie's rebound it, and away they go. And Woods is just making a living off that pass down there. And they're really, really hitting the, hitting the boards and they're getting a fast break, laying it up 12 to 4, East Prairie. But I tell you what, this little Van Buren team's scrappy. Yes, they are, Tommy. And, and it's, uh, uh, they're, they're getting after it to getting it down the floor. Uh, they're just having trouble, uh, uh, you know, getting a shot off. That's right, uh, right now, Randy Woods has eight points, and all eight of them are right there in the paint. That's right. But I tell you what, I really like this press of East Prairie. What they do is they uh, they like to double team that ball. Sure do. Another turnover. Woods with it. Look where he goes. Right to the bucket. Misses a layup. In for the uh, Van Buren uh, Bulldogs is Jackson H H Hilberg. And... Uh, he got the rebound. Oh, nice move. And just go up with it. But he couldn't wow. do it. Turnover, and here comes the Eagles. Guess who's going in for a layup and score? Randy Woods. He's got 10 and a quarter. Hey, he just releases down there, and them boys hit him. He's just making a living down there. 
14 to 4. East Prairie on top very quick here. Well, they've got him double teamed sure. in that corner, don't they? Tucker with the ball over to Simmons. Simmons into the game, hits down to Hilberg. He puts up a uh, layup, scores oh, nice, it. Nice, nice yep. move down there. Jackson, uh, we say Hilberg, it might be Heilberg, but uh, he's a 6'3 junior. Now, he's a good size lad. Sure he is. He, he, uh, he and Branham about the same size there. They match up very well. Sure do. Williams with the ball, three-point shot, no good. On the floor, rebound by Tucker of the Van Buren Bulldogs. Tucker drives, going to put up a 10-footer, no good. Short. Nice he, feedback. Oh, nice feedback to the big boy, Jackson Halberg. And that was uh, Sam Simmons giving him the feed. 14-8, to 8, 2.40 to go in the first period. East Prairie on top. Woods with a basketball. Drives in, gives to Jones. Jones a turnaround jump shot, scores it. Tony Jones, his first bucket, 16 to 8. We're going to have a jump ball. Woods and Simmons came together. The ball is going to be alternate possession in Van Buren's favor. Tell you, like you say, that press, East Prairie looks good. They're trapping yes. you over in the corner. Doing a nice job with it. There you go, right there. Tucker with the basketball, loses it out of bounds. Turnover on Van Buren by Van Buren. East Prairie, and we'll get the turnover situation here in just a few at the end of the first period. Tipler in for a layup. He missed it, got his own rebound. Newberry with a basketball. Oh, passes down. Look at here. Nice pass. Yes. Nice pass. He passed. I don't know which one he's throwing to, but Sam Simmons ended up with it, put it up and in. 16-10, 155. With all the turnovers that Van Buren's had, they're just hanging around. That's right. Tony Jones with a jumper from 10. Scores it 18 to 10. Hilberg to Crafton. Crafton from three. Puts it up. No good. Rebound in there that time by Tucker, and he scores it. Brandon Tucker, 18 to 12 with one and a half minutes to go. We got timeout on the floor by the East Prairie Eagles with 1.29 to go. It's East Prairie 18, Van Buren 12. Tonight's game is also brought to you by Boomers Productions. The next time your company needs a commercial, safety, informational, or music video made, please contact Boomers Productions. Working with Maldonite Productions, we can produce your next video requirement. We also bring to your local news and programming as seen on Channel 21 and the New Wave Communications Network. We're currently seen in Bernie, Bloomfield, Essex, Campbell, Dexter, and Malden, and looking forward to serving more towns in Southeast Missouri and Northeast Arkansas viewing area. Boomers Productions and Channel 21, your hometown channel. Call 281-2121 or visit our website at boomersproductions.com. Also, our toll-free number outside the Malden area, 877-566-2121. Tell you what, since this Hilberg came in for Van Buren, it's made a difference. He's hit the boards real well. He's got in there. He's created some problems. He's, he's made East Prairie change some shots in there. He's done a real good job. Simmons has come in and done a good job. Sure uh, pass that microphone over to Travis. Let's see how many turnovers by Van Buren right now. How many turnovers does Van Buren have? Well, Van Buren has nine turnovers. Nine turnovers in the first uh, six and a half minutes. And East Prairie has three. Has three. Thank you. You're welcome. Travis Gregory keeping up with the turnovers, and boy, we knew that there had been a lot of turnovers, yeah. and that, that's why Van Buren keeps hanging around with that many, uh, that much difference in turnovers. It's nine to three. When I played ball, of course, that was back uh, when James Naismith first founded basketball. Uh, our coach always said that a turnover was worth one point to the other team. Well, that's probably true. And if you take nine and take three from it, it's six. Van Buren trails go. by six points. That's right. Now, I don't know if that holds true today, the way the ball game is speeded up, but uh, put it this way, they're down six, and they've got six more okay. turnovers. But the East Prairie Press has really created turnovers. Van Buren's getting the ball in the corner, and they're double teaming. And of course, they're short, and uh, East Prairie's just uh, eating them alive sure there. They've got to get that ball in the center of the court, it looks like. Woods with a basketball for the Eagles. Passes the ball over to Williams. Williams inside to Jones. Jones with a turnaround jump shot. Falls in. Well, I'll tell you what, this Jones tough in that paint. Yes, he is. And, you know, he really doesn't square up that, no. uh, that much. Those last two jump shots, he hasn't been squared up. 
Ball in the corner to Burke. Burke for a long three. Nice shot. Nice shot. Curtis Burke, five in the quarter. Jones now down to Branham. Branham catches the ball, and he stepped on the inbounds line. Turnover, Van Buren, 20 to 15. East Prairie on top with 55 seconds to go. Got to give this little Van Buren team credit now. They're hanging around. They're playing tough. Yep. Newberry with the basketball to Burke. Back to Newberry to Crafton. Crafton inside to Heilberg. And we've got Crafton with the basketball again. Tried to get down in the corner to Simmons. Ball tipped out of bounds by just in the game for East Prairie. Taylor White tipped that ball out of bounds. Coming in for Van Buren. Coming back in is Brandon Tucker. Going out is Matt Crafton. Also coming uh, back into the game is Tanner Smith. And coming out is Sam Simmons for the Van Buren Bulldogs. Inbounding the ball will be Curtis Burke. He throws down in the corner to Newberry. Newberry into the big guy. He does a turnaround jump shot. No good. Jones with the rebound. Woods off and running. Woods going to go in for the layup, and we're going to have a blocking foul. As Woods went in and missed uh, the layup. Foul that time called. On Matt Crafton, or pardon me, Ian Newberry is first. Van Buren's first. Going the line to shoot two will be Randy Woods. Woods first shot up. Scores it. Nice shot. He's had 11 in this uh, period. Yeah. And a chance to make it 12. Coming in for East Prairie is Ryan Jones. Going out is Tony Jones. As Tony Jones has had a good first quarter. Wood's second shot, no good. Gilberg with the rebound. Newberry with the basketball. 20 seconds to go. Newberry pulls up, gives the ball to Smith. Smith over to Burke. Burke to Newberry. Gilberg down in the corner now with the ball. Gives it to Tucker. <laughs> Tucker out to Newberry. Tucker thought about three, pulls it up. Pulls in for a 12-foot jumper. No good. Look at the guys fight for the rebound as the horn goes off. The end of the first quarter. It's the East Prairie Eagles 21. The Van Buren Bulldogs 15. Skeeter Kale Sporting Goods. Call Kenneth Store at 888-6678 or Lloyd Rice at 576-4471. Nike, Adidas, Russell, any and all kinds of major brand names in your favorite sporting goods. New location in Kenneth at 1300 Industrial Drive. That's Skeeter Kell Sporting Goods in Kennett. We're wearing vests tonight from Skeeter Kell. Give them a call or stop by the Kennett store for all your sporting goods needs. This game brought to you by your friends at New Wave Communications. New Wave's DVR is like TiVo, only better. Pause, record, and rewind live TV. Now TV that fits your schedule? Call New Wave today to find out how you can save even more by bundling digital cable, telephone, and high-speed data. Tell you what, that Van Buren team hung around here now, and, and he had so many turnovers. If they cut them turnovers down, they'll be right back in it. Uh, Tony Jones on the inside, just going to be hard for him to stop. They don't leave the big boy Van Buren in there. And the, the Woods just made a living off the fast break, getting the rebounds, getting down there, putting it up and in. But Van Buren's scrappy, and little guys are staying with him. And, Look for a close game. And if, like I say, if they can turn them turnovers down, they'll be in this thing. Scoring at quarter, uh, uh, Randy Woods had 11 for uh, East Prairie. Tyler Branham had four. Tony Jones had six for 21 points total. For Van Buren, Matt Crafton with two. Brandon Tucker with two. Curtis Burke with five. Sam Simmons with four. Jackson Hilberg with four. How many turnovers did we have? Travis Gregory going to give us the turnovers here. Uh, Van Buren had nine, and East Prairie had four. Okay. And we got a six-point lead, so it's almost holding up to that. Nine and four on the turnovers. A lot of turnovers, both teams, but uh, Van Buren seems to have found something going down that sideline against right. the press. See if it works. Williams with a basketball. Shot put up that time by Woods. Jones got the rebound, put it up. No good. Branham with the rebound. He's going to be fouled by number 14, Tanner Smith of Van Buren. His first foul, Van Buren's second. Only three fouls in this game so far. 
Inbounding for the East Prairie Eagles will be uh, Paris Kipler. As he throws the ball way out to Woods. Woods thinks about a three, puts it up. It falls in. Well, well, he's down had, fell in. He's he, hot. He's having a game. He's got 14 of the 24 base Prairie. Burke with the basketball to Smith. Smith to Tucker. He's going to drive the baseline. Puts it up. Nice move, but he couldn't get it to fall. Jones with the rebound. Boy, he's got a bushel basket he up, sure has. Tipler with the basketball. Over to Woods. Woods for three again. In and out. Burke with the rebound. Van Buren running. Into the game is number 23, Tyler Freeze. He scores two. Nice pass that time by Burke. 24-17 with 7.05 to go in the second quarter. East Prairie still on top. MC Williams with the basketball. Paris Tipler. To Randy Woods. Brandon with the basketball to Tipler. Tipler's going to drive. Puts up a running jump shot. Scores it. Tipler's first points of the game. Van Buren running. No, nice bounce nice pass. pass. Nice bounce pass there. Tanner Smith. They're starting to handle that press. Good, good pass that time by Brandon Tucker. Oh, turnover on East Prairie. I tell you, Van Buren's just hanging around now. Sure it's 26-19 are. with 6.34 to go in this first half of play. East Prairie on top. Freeze with the basketball for Van Buren. Gives the ball over to Smith. Smith to Burke. Back to Freeze. Back to Burke. Burke for three. Scores Man. it. Curtis Burke with eight points, two threes, and a field and a two-point field goal. 26-22. 6-12 to go. Woods with the basketball under two. The big boy Jones, and he scores. Nice pass in and good uh, move sure there by Jones. Kept that rim, used that as a defensive toy for him. Stepping on the out-of-bounds line that time is Freeze. Turnover on the Van Buren Bulldogs. You let, you let a little team like Van Buren hang around now, they'll do you some misery late in, late in the game. Can't take them lightly. That's right. Tipler has the basketball for the Eagles. Back to Woods. Woods to Tipler. Van Buren in that 1-3-1 one, one zone. Maybe it's a 1-2-2. Two, two. Woods drives in, loses the handle, but right there is Branham. Tips it up and in. Branham with six in the first half. Look at here. Woods steals that ball. I tell you, that kid is everywhere now. Sure is. He's playing a nice game. Jones with the, with the ball and puts it up and in. He almost dunked it. He Not sure much. did. He had it in his mind, didn't he, Bill? Yep. Simmons with the ball. Down to Tucker. We're going to have a foul. Foul's going to be on Randy Woods, his first. Second team foul on East Prairie. Both teams with only two fouls. Van Buren with a basketball. Freeze has it, drives in, puts it up, scores. Freeze come in and played a good quarter. Freeze taking it to the bucket. Sure is. Van Buren with a uh, soft press. Burke on Tipler to Woods. Air ball put up that time by Williams. Ball turned over to Van Buren. 32-24, 4.56 to go in the second quarter. Hilberg back in for the Bulldogs. Also Simmons. Ball tipped back out of bounds by Jones. Ball stolen by Tipler of East Prairie. He's going to drive. Kicks a ball to Jones. What a uh, nice pass. Tell you what, that was pretty. Yes, it was. Jones with six in his quarter, six in the second quarter. He's got 12. Burke with the basketball. Drives down, puts it up. He's going to be fouled. Burke's not scared to take it in there. He'll take it to the hole. Foul that time on number 20, Ryan Jones, his first. Third on East Prairie going to line to shoot two will be Curtis Burke. He has eight on the night. First free throw up, no good. (laughs) 
Second free throw up. Scores it. 34-25. East Prairie up by nine. 4.35 to go in this first half. Woods with the basketball. Loses a handle on it. He's, or Van Buren picks it up. Burke with the basketball. Van Buren's wanting to run. Kicks the ball over to Freeze. Freeze looks for somebody to pass to, and he hits Alberg at the free throw line. Puts up a shot. No good. Crafton with a rebound. Look at the little man inside there. He's going up with it now. He sure was. And he stepped on the out-of-bounds line. Got to give him credit for trying. He, I'll tell you what. At his size, a 5'6", going up against the 6'3", guy, he didn't back off. No. He took it right to him. Williams with the basketball. Van Buren in a uh, soft press. Tipler being handed out there by Crafton. Oh, nice drive that time. We're going to have a blocking foul called on Van Buren. Nice drive that time by Taylor White. Ball out of bounds, 32 with the foul. That's uh, Sam Simmons. That's his first. Van Buren's third. Both teams with three fouls. Coming back in for Van Buren will be Brandon Tucker. Going out is Curtis Burke. Burke's had a nice first half. Sure has. Tipler inbounds the ball to Williams. Williams inside to the young man that just came in for East Prairie. Ryan Jones, and he scores too. Nice turnaround jump shot. 36-25. East Prairie up by 11. We've got a we've got a blocking foul that time on Taylor White, I believe. That's his first. Van Buren will inbound the ball. Craft into inbound. Tries to throw inside. Newberry coming in. Going out is Tyler Freeze. Tyler Freeze come in. Gave him some good minutes. Yes, he did. Ball thrown in backcourt to Tucker. Tucker with the basketball to Newberry. Oh, nice pass nice into pass. Hillberg. And he tried to hit uh, Simmons with a bounce pass and just a little pass there. Turnover sure on Van Buren. Tipler with the basketball. To Woods. Woods to White. White still has the ball. Going to try the baseline. Picks it up. Gives the ball to Jones. Jones knows where to take it. He takes it right in there, puts it up and in. He knows exactly where that thing goes. Jones with eight and a quarter. 14 on the night. Ball tipped out of bounds by Van Buren that time. Tipper calls the turnover. Yep. We had hustle there, and Simmons touched the ball as it went out of bounds. Coming back in for Van Buren is Curtis Burke. We've got timeout on the floor with three minutes, 11 seconds to go in this second period. It is East Prairie 38, Van Buren 25. Three Rivers Community College is a great place. A great place. A great place to start college or career classes. Three Rivers affordable tuition means Pell Grants go further. I can use A+. I got a scholarship. To learn more, go to trcc.edu or call 877-TRY-TRCC. Get started at TRCC. Enroll now for summer and fall classes at TRCC. Three Rivers Community College is a great place. A great place. A great place to start college. Why pay university prices? When the same classes at TRCC cost a lot less. I can use A+. I get individual attention. I'm close to home. To learn more, go to trcc.edu or call 877-TRY-TRCC. Get started at TRCC. Enroll now for summer and fall classes at TRCC. Van Buren, Van Buren made a little run at them there, but boy, I tell you what, Seas Prairie seemed like they kicked that defense up a little bit and, and then that ignited that offense. And you get that ball inside to Tony Jones, and he knows where to take it. Yeah, he's, uh, he's not backed off. No. He's not backed off at all. We watched him last year as a sophomore, and he was good. And, and boy, you could tell he's really improved, though. Well, Randy Woods had 11 in that first uh, period for East Prairie. He has a, a three-pointer in this period. And uh, Tony Jones had six points in the first period. He's got eight in, the, in this period. So he's already got uh, 14. 
And uh, Woods has 14. That's 28 to the 38 points. Those guys have been filling it up. That's right. They sure have. And I, Van Buren's had some decent shots in there. Some of them just rolled out, but if they can stay out of that corner and keep them getting trapped, they seem to handle that press pretty good. Yep. Been a good ball game. Oh, yeah, it has been. Tell you what, it just – Van Buren will make another little run on them. I tell you, I think they've surprised East Prairie, though. I think they, East Prairie thought they'd come over here and this number 12 seed might just lay down, but they're not going to lay down. You know, in college basketball, a lot of time that's your upset, 5 and 12. 12. Yep. Look oh, here. nice pass in to Jones. Went for the dunk and missed it. A nice setup play that time. Sure I like was. that. Tipler with a jump shot. No good. Rebound that time by Tucker. He gives the ball to Newberry. Van Buren off and running. Burke has it. He goes inside, and we're going to have a foul on the floor. Foul on the floor that time is going to be on Tony Jones, his first. Yeah, East Prairie set up that play, too. They sure did. Lob it up there. They sure did. Crafted inbound the basketball. Nice pass in to Tucker. Oh, good oh, pass right to Simmons. Oh, what a oh, pass. Kick that thing around behind him. He put it right in. No look pass. And boy, it was pretty. Almost caught Simmons by it surprise. Sure did. <laughs> 38-27 with 2.40 to go in this second period. East Prairie on top. Van Buren has never led. Or Van Buren led 2 to nothing first of the game. Jones inside with it. Puts it down. He has 10 and a quarter, 16 and a half. Ball tipped out of bounds by Van Buren. That pressure is really sure. bothering him. Hurting him. How many turnovers we have now on uh, East Prairie, or on Van Buren? How many Van Buren got? 16? 16 turnovers. 16 turnovers in the first half. By Van Buren. Hilberg coming out, coming back in is Smith for Van Buren. Tipler to uh, trigger the inbounds pass. He gives it to Branham. Branham on a, on a jump shot. No good. Rebound that time by Van Buren. Burke has it. Gives it to Newberry. Newberry with the basketball. Kicks it down to Tucker. Tucker to Smith to Newberry. Newberry kicks it back out to Crafton. Crafted to Newberry. Down to Tucker. Tucker's going to drive, try to pass the ball away, and it tipped right into Crafton. Look at the little guy go up there. He doesn't care. And look at him on the floor. Battling for the ball. He missed the, uh, missed the shot. Woods with the basketball from three. No good. Rebound Jones. Jones puts it up. No good. Rebound tipped up and in. Tony Jones with 12 in the quarter. 18 and a half. Nice pass that time. Oh, I like wow. the way he handled the ball. We've got a foul on East Prairie. I tell you, it's Tony Jones just owns that paint in there. Yes, he does. Foul that time on MC Williams. That's his second. 138 to go in this second period. 42 27, 15 point lead for the Eagles. Crafted with a basketball. To Burke, to Smith. Smith off the backboard. Nice shot. Nice. Tanner Smith with his second bucket in the period. Four points in the game. 42-29. East Prairie on top with 1.15 to go in the second period. Tipler with the basketball. Gives a ball to Woods. Over to Branham. Branham from the top. Puts it up. No good. Rebound that time by Tucker for Van Buren. Gives to Newberry. Newberry... Quickly down the floor, going to stop, put up a shot. No good. Rebound, ran, uh, Jones go. kicks it to Wood. What's Wood's going to do? He's going to go down and make a layup. He's got 16 on the night. Van Buren quickly with the ball. Tucker uh, down the floor with the ball. Tucker has it, gives it to Newberry. Newberry down to Burke. Burke drives in and scores it. Curtis Burke. He has 11 in this first half. Van Buren team won't go away. Nope. 44-31. East Prairie on top. Tipler with the basketball. Comes in, loses it, and goes out of bounds off of Van Buren. Freeze into the game. Newberry out. Or ball off of East Prairie. Yeah. Excuse me. I thought it, I thought he called it off with the leg there. Coming in is Ryan Jones. Going out is Tyler Branham for the uh, East Prairie Eagles. Do a little skip pass there to Tucker. Tucker across the timeline. Bounce pass it to Crafton. Crafton in the corner. Puts it up. No good. Rebound by right, uh, Taylor White. White with the basketball. 15 seconds to go. Gives it to Woods. Woods thought about three. Pulled it up. Going to take it out and hold it for one. Well, now he's going to shoot the three. 
Short, rebound on the floor that time to Van Buren, going the length of the floor with the basketball, and he dumps it off to Crafton. Crafton's going to have to put it up quick. Er, a three-pointer at the horn at time by Freeze. Tyler Freeze put up a three-pointer, would not go at the end of the first half. It's East Prairie 44, Van Buren 31. Well, it's halftime here of game number five with East Prairie on top of Van Buren, 44-31. And we've got with us with New Wave Communications, Ed Gargas. Ed, welcome to the booth. Thank you. Glad to be here. Glad to be here. What do you think of all this basketball hoopla? Big sports fan. I love it. I love it. <laughs> you said that uh, you're more of a football. Uh, you were a football player, not a basketball player down at Kennett. Well, actually, I was I was a runner, cross oh, country and track. Okay. So, uh, I didn't have the size. My tackles happened in my junior high career when uh, somebody tripped as they ran over me. <laughs> so uh, I didn't have enough muscle or enough bone to, or enough meat on me to knock anybody down. So uh, tell us uh, what's new with New Wave. Uh, new Wave is it's great. Um, a lot of new things. We of course we have a, a lot of products to help everybody out in the telecommunications world. Uh, through our cable line, we can now bring, as you're aware, a uh, digital phone service as well as digital internet service uh, proves to be very competitive as far as speed wise and cost wise uh, efficiently uh, to compete with the, the dial up obviously and that sort of thing we uh, we're expanding into new markets uh, should be happening shortly after the first of the year so we're excited about that to bring our bring our products and services to more of the southeast missouri boot hill Ed, we're very excited. Channel 21 is. Uh, we're glad to be part of New Wave, even though it's Boomers Productions, at least as that channel. But New Wave is gracious enough to do that. And uh, we uh, we started off in the two towns of Malden and Campbell. We've expanded to uh, uh, six towns now. We're in uh, Essex. We're in Bloomfield, Dexter, Bernie. And uh, so we're, we're in six towns now. Going to be going, uh, we understand, to 17 towns sometime in 2007. That's correct. Um, and the uh, the first part of that uh, has been completed. Uh, we're in phase two, if you will, and we hope to have everything t- completed uh, by before the end of the first quarter next year and stuff. But uh, yeah, we're new wave. We're, we're anxious to get into the new communities and bring our products and services and bring them onto the new wave team. And uh, new wave, we're really happy to have Channel 21 along with us. Well, thank you. We're we're proud to be there. Let, let's talk about. You said the first quarter of next year. We're talking about 2007. Correct. Because we're we're filming this game in uh, 2006. Uh, Ed, so many people have asked us why we don't do the games live. Right now we don't have the equipment. We don't have the permission of the schools. But assuming that we uh, get the permission of the schools next year, uh, I think there's fiber already in the schools here. It's my understanding, yes. And uh, we're going to be looking into doing those games live next year and then taping them so the players and the fans and the the cheerleaders, the administration can all see themselves on on TV. Absolutely. Absolutely. And and we would like to do it live. Uh, You always want to practice with the tape because if you do mess up or say something that uh, you don't tend to, you can always back that out and and, and, uh, clean that up. But when you do it live, you're on. Well, exactly. <laughs> what you get is what you got. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of times we get a lot of gotten on that. <laughs> but, uh, no, we, we uh, use David Black, and, and he is our editor on all these games. does a great job. It just takes him about six hours to run to, and, uh, you know, put all this stuff together to put our advertising in there, also to put the names of the players and, and the coaches and the scores. And uh, we really appreciate his efforts. Uh, we think we've got to uh, put together a good team this year uh, for – channel 21 we've had experience now the first year we started off we did uh, about uh, eight games uh, all tape delayed last year we did 23 games this year we're scheduled to do 50 games so we think with all that practice we're ready to go live if, if we can get the equipment figure out how we can send it back to the station and then get them to run the ads and then know when it t- comes time back to us and that's where cal crater comes in yes, to, uh, to give us that information so we're looking forward to that and, and one day we hope to be live we, we hope so also. I think that would be a great asset, not just to a Channel 21 to have that capability, but also New Wave Communications to be able to provide that capability. And, but also, more importantly, to the, to the schools, the communities, and the kids here playing the basketball. That would just be a tremendous thing for them, I believe. Well, I really like this 50th tournament because they're playing all number one hits from the uh, 50 years in the past. And uh, they played the Beatles song a while ago. And uh, this, this music is in my era. Okay. Back before you were born. Wow. Well, Probably so. Oh, I know Probably so. so. <laughs> <laughs> it's 1968 and 69 stuff. So, okay. Well, I, I was around in 1968 and 1969. Oh, okay. Well, that, so. that surprised me. Prior to that, no, I was not. But uh, Ed, anything else that uh, you would like to tell our uh, viewers out there? They're on New Wave Cable. 
No, uh, we'd, we'd like to be able to help them out with their telecommunication needs. They need to give us a call at uh, area code 573-614-4073 or 888-8-NEW-WAVE and see if we can't help them out. That's Ed Gargus with New Wave, and uh, we appreciate his support and everybody at New Wave and hope that you folks enjoy it. I, I, we've had more people. When is this game going to be replayed? When is this game going to be replayed? We really can't tell you because it takes so long to clean these tapes up. Right. And when I say clean them up, to, to put everything in with all the advertisers that we have, and, and we're, we're proud to do that. Don't, don't get me wrong. We're, we're just thrilled to death. But we will be playing these games up till uh, tournament time next year. Good deal. So, so the players, some of them will get to see them when they come home from Christmas. If they go to college, uh, you know, the seniors that get to come back, they may uh, get to watch one of the games that they played uh, this year. And I'm sure people will be able to uh, tune in to Channel 21, and uh, we can probably get a listing of when the game's going to be broadcast, ad- aired there. Now, in addition to the newscast every morning at 7 o'clock, I'm sure you'd be more than happy to tell people when the games are going to be on. The uh, It will be on our newscast live at 7 each day, and also what we will do with those games, uh, we will put it on our community bulletin board. Sure. So... Ed Gargas, thanks for joining us, and uh, look forward to seeing the rest of the tournament. Thank you. Glad All to be right. here. Well, let's uh, getting ready to start the second half. Uh, let's fill you in right quick. Randy Woods with 16 points for uh, East Prairie, two points to Ryan Jones, six points to uh, Tyler Branham, 18 points to Tony uh, Jones, and two points to Paris Tipler for Van Buren. There were two points to Matt Crafton, four points to uh, Tanner Smith, uh, two points to uh, Brandon Tucker, 11 points to Curtis Burke, four points to Tyler Freeze, and uh, four points to Sam uh, Simmons, and four points to Jackson Hilberg. Van Buren will inbound to start this second half. Newberry with the basketball. Ball off the fingertips here of Hilberg, and uh, Tipler... Picks the ball up off the floor. Williams for three, buries it. MC Williams with his first points of the night. Van Buren, that time uh, Burke is going to be hit by Paris Tipler, his second foul. 47-31, just underway in the third quarter. East Prairie has extended that lead to 47-31 with a three-point pointer by Paris Tipler. Burke with a long pass down to Smith. Smith back to Burke. Burke to Newberry. Newberry for three. No good off the front of the rim. Smith with the rebound. Gives the ball to Hilberg. He's going to go in, puts it up. No good. Rebound that time by tipped out, and uh, Van Buren's going to control. Burke has it. Gives it to Crafton. Crafton to Burke, Burke drives the baseline, gives it to Hillberg. He puts it up, no good. Rebound that time by Branham of the East Prairie Eagles. Gives the ball to Tipler. Tommy? Yes, sir. All right. You're back with us. Got your head set on. We're ready to go. All right. Oh, near. Boy, that could pick that pass well, They did. Branham with a turnaround jumper, no good. Rebound that time by Hillberg off his fingertips. Tips the ball back to Newberry. Newberry has a basketball in the front court. Ball into Hillberg. To Newberry, three from Burke. He buries it. Oh, he buried that thing. Yes, he did. Burke with 14 in the game. 47-34. Tipler with a basketball. Woods now has it. Out to Williams. Williams inside for Jones. Ball taken away by... Tucker of Van Buren. Van Buren with the basketball. Got a chance to cut the lead. Boy, he's going to drive in, put it up, scores it. Pretty shot. It sure was. Brandon Tucker. He has four on the evening. 47-36. Tipler to Williams to Woods. Woods for three. I'll tell you what, this, this young man's had him a game. He sure has, Bill. He's got 19. And we're just early in the uh, second half here. Oh, nice turnaround move that time by Newberry. Sure misses was. the short jumper. Ball rebounded by Jones down to Woods. Woods going to take it to the bucket. Misses. Rebound. Hilberg gives the ball to Tucker. Tucker Van Buren. Van Buren on the run. They're not backing off. Inside to Smith. Smith with turnaround jumper. No good. Rebound Hilberg. And he's going to be fouled. Foul is going to occur on the floor. Foul is on Randy Woods, his second. He wants this Hillberg has played a game. He really has. 
Simmons coming in, Hilberg going out. Also coming in is Freeze and Newberry are crafted going out. Oh, nice. shot. That a nice play out of bounds play. Shot there put up by Simmons. He scores it. His sixth point of the night. 50 38. Oh, nice. Dax dish off to Branham. He misses oh, the shot. Up. Yeah, rolled around. It, it, he was surprised he had the ball. Freeze with a long pass down to Burke. Burke puts it up. No good. Fights for the rebound. Gets it. He's going to turn around and go back up with it. And he's going to score it. It's going to be fouled. I give that young man credit. He really stayed after that I ball. want to tell you, he was aggravated because he missed the it shot. Was. And he got the ball, and he was determined he was going to go back up and score it. And he did and, and drew the foul. Coming in for Branham is Ryan Jones for East Prairie. Burke goes to the line, try to convert on the three-point play. With 5.05 to go in this third quarter, Burke brings Van Buren to within nine, 50 to 41. Williams with the basketball to Tipler. Tipler's going to drive. Ball taken away by Van Buren. Turnover. Tried to hit. Burke with a bounce pass. Ball stolen away there by East Prairie. Tipler has it. Kicks it to Jones. Jones puts it up and scores it. I'll tell you what. you got to keep that ball out of Tony Jones' hand. He knows where to take it. Van Buren a two-on-one break. Nice bounce pass over to Burke. He misses the left-handed layup. Williams with the rebound. To Woods. You know what Woods is going to do with it. He's going to take it to the hole and yeah. misses, but he's fouled at time by Tanner Smith. His second foul going the line to shoot two is going to be Randy Woods. Van Buren's made a little run at him. Missed a couple little cheap shots yep. down here. I just rolled out. Randy Woods has 19 on the evening. Coming the line to shoot two free throws. Tony Jones has 20. Those two have, have really uh, yeah. filled it up for East Prairie. First shot up. He scores it. That gives him 20. With 4.27 to go in this third quarter. It's 53-41. East Prairie on top of Van Buren. Van Buren led two to nothing and hasn't led since. Right. Next shot put up. Buries it. 54-41. Freeze with the basketball for Van Buren. Gives it to Burke. Burke to Smith. Smith to Tucker. He's going to try the baseline. Puts it up. No good. Rebound that time by Taylor White. White gives it to Williams. Williams to Woods. Woods thought about three. Tried to throw it in to Jones. Ball taken away by Van Buren. And we got a foul on the floor. Foul is going to be on number four, M.C. Williams, his third. Van Buren just keeps hanging around, hanging around and make a little run. Woods comes out. Coming in is number 34, Trent Martin for East Prairie. Four minutes to go in this third period, 54-41. You're right, Tommy. They just keep hanging around. Yeah. Crafting with the ball to Freeze. Freeze out front for three. Buries it. That young man can shoot the basketball. He comes in now. He's got seven on the evening. Van Buren with a turnover that time. Taking the ball back. Creating the turnover, I sure should are. say. Yeah. Matt Crafton to Freeze. Freeze thinks I'm going to try it again. He buries it. Same spot. He just buried it. I want to tell you what now. He has brought Van Buren back to within 7, 54-47. Ball passed inside that time to Ryan Jones. And Jones goes to the line. He was fouled. Foul that time on number 32, Sam Simmons. His second going the line to shoot two will be Ryan Jones. Jones has two on the evening. Field goal in the second quarter. Shot up. No good. Hey, Van Buren has got a little momentum sure going. Have. I'm impressed with Van Buren. They haven't quit. No. Second shot up. No good. Rebound, Tony Jones. Jones has it bounced off somebody's foot. He puts it up. Oh, off the rim. Rebounded that time to Van Buren. Simmons has a ball, gives it to Freeze. Freeze to Tucker. Tucker's going to put up a 12-footer. Scores it. Scores it. I tell you what, Van Buren's in the game, 54-49. Three minutes to go in this third quarter. Jones has a basketball. Going to throw under two. Ryan Jones. Tony Jones throws to Ryan Jones.
Basket good. He's going to go line to shoot uh, one. Ryan Jones. He's over two from the line. 56-49. 2.59 to go in the third quarter. Ryan Jones with his free throw. Oh, it scores oh. it. Fell in. Coming in is Tyler Branham. Going out is Ryan Jones. He's Perry back with her press. Tucker breaks the press, goes across the timeline. Picks his dribble up, kicks the ball over to Freeze. Freeze feels it. He goes over, kicks to Crafton. Crafton puts it up and in. Matt Crafton with his six, second bucket. 57-51, 2.45 to go. Van Buren getting ready to check in two players. I'm impressed with this uh, Coach Lynch. I am too. Really am. Tell you what, he brings this Freeze kid in, a sophomore, and he, he does a lot of things. Hillberg and Burke in. Going out is Smith and Simmons for Van Buren. Tipler to Woods. Woods drives in, puts it up. No good. Ball tipped around. Tucker comes up with it, kicks it to Freeze. Freeze has a basketball to Burke. Over to Tucker. Tucker thought about it, pulled it up. Looks inside, gives the ball way out front to Freeze. Inside to Burke. Burke puts up a running layup, does not go. Ball turned out of bounds. Ball knocked out of bounds by Van Buren. Coming in is Ian Newberry. Going out is Brandon Ducker for Van Buren. Tippert inbound for the Eagles. 57-51, 2 to go in the third period. Ball tipped around and almost That's saved by Van hard. Buren. Good hustle that Very time. Very good hustle. That young man run him down, kicked that ball away from him. Matt, Matt Crafton showed a little speed that time. Tipler didn't bound the ball. They're looking for Jones inside. You can see that. Sure That's are. where they go to. Jones gets the ball over to Branham. Branham up and in. Nice passing that time by the East Prairie Eagles. Eight on the night for Branham. Hilberg uh, throwing the ball inbounds. Has it slapped out. But that Tony Jones guarding that inbound pass got long arms. Yes. Newberry now to Freeze. Freeze down the right side of the court. Going to drive in. Puts up a shot. Scores it. I'll tell you what, this young man's come off the bench and played a game. He's got 12 on the night. Woods with the basketball. He's Prairie up a six. 59-53 with 140 to go. Tipler goes inside. Puts up a shot. No good. The big boy with the rebound for Van Buren. Gives it to Burke. Burke to Crafton, back to Burke, to Crafton. Across the court to Freeze. Newberry, Newberry now to Crafton. He puts up a three, he scores it. Matt Crafton has five and a quarter, seven on the evening. It's 59-56. Tell me we got a game with 110 to go in the third period. Well, I'll tell you, their defense has picked it up for Van Buren. Tell turnover, what. turnover on East Prairie. This is a nice game. I tell you, this is the first. What have we got here, Bill? We hadn't had one all day, but we're fixing to have one. Yes, we are. Freeze with the basketball, driving in. Picks his dribble up, kicks to uh, Ian Newberry for three. In and out. Rebound by the smallest man on the court. Crafton. He gives the ball to Burke, to Newberry, to Crafton. Back to Newberry. He's going to drive in, gives it to Freeze. We've already seen free shoot tonight. That's right. He has a ball it. taken away, but he gets it back. Crafting with the ball. 40 seconds to go. Down in the corner for three was Burke. He missed a shot. He's prayer with the rebound. They're up by three with 30 seconds to go in this third period. Tipler gives it to Woods. 20 seconds to go. East Prairie is spreading the floor. They're going to hold for one. Tipper and Woods playing pitch and catch. Ten seconds, coach says it's time to go. Let's go. So here's here we go. Five seconds. They better get on it. Five now. Tipper wants the ball. He's going to shoot it. He puts it up. Does not score as the horn goes off to end the third quarter. It's 59, East Prairie, 56, Van Buren. Van Buren is back in the game. We'll be back with you in just a minute. This game brought to you by your friends at New Wave Communications. New Wave's DVR is like TiVo, only better. Pause, record, and rewind live TV. 
Now TV that fits your schedule? Call New Wave today to find out how you can save even more by bundling digital cable, telephone, and high-speed data. Van Buren had a nice quarter. They come in with threes, and threes just filled it up from out there. And when he wasn't scoring, he was looking, seeing the floor, and dished it off. So Van Buren really pulled within three of them, and that's really a nice quarter. Tony well, the, Jones was a little bit off that quarter. They kind of held him in check a little bit. Tommy, right now, the scoring goes like this. Randy Woods with 21 points. M.C. Williams with three. Ryan Jones with five. You have uh, Tyler Brandon with eight. You have Tony Jones with 20. Paris Tipler with two. That's for East Prairie. On Van Buren's side, you have Matt Crafton with seven. You have uh, Tanner Smith with four. You have, uh, with six points, Brandon Tucker. With 16 points, Curtis Burke. With 12 points, Tyler Freeze. Six points is uh, Sam Simmons. And four points is uh, Jackson Hilberg. So that's the scoring. I tell you, Van Buren has uh, made this a game. They've climbed back in, in sure, the ball game. I tell you what, they, they just kept clawing away and clawing away and just kept their head, never gave up. Boy, like you say, they're back within three. He's Prairie with the basketball to start this fourth quarter. The best, uh, the most exciting game we've had tonight. Sure Williams deep in the corner, no good. Rebound on the floor to Newberry for Van Buren. Van Buren can tie it with a three. Cut it to one with a two. Crafton with a basketball. Inside to the big guy. He kicks it back out to Newberry. Newberry to Tucker. Tucker, oh, nice bounce pass. pass into Burke. Burke puts it up Boy. and in. Nice pass. 18 on the evening for Burke. It's 59-58. Van Buren, and look at that hustle. Van Buren takes the ball away. Tucker comes in, stops, and shoots a jump shot. No good. Rebound tipped out to the big guy. Branham for East Prairie. East Prairie with the basketball and with the lead with 7.05 to go. They're up by one, 59-58. Tipler down in the corner to Woods. Inside to Branham off his fingertips, out of bounds. Turnover on East Prairie. Those uh, turnovers get more even, aren't they? Newberry with the basketball for Van Buren. They can take the lead here. They trail by one. Ball to Crafton inside to Hilberg. He kicks the ball out to Tucker. Tucker for three. No good. Rebound that time up by the smallest guy on the court. Matt Crafton. He scores. They take their first lead since uh, they were ahead two to nothing. And then back with it is East Prairie with Branham driving in on a nice pass that sure time was. for Tipler. 61-60 with six and a half minutes to go. East Prairie back on top. Good ball game. Hope you're enjoying it as much as we are uh, watching it and announcing it. Oh, look at the big guy inside. What a, what move. a move. No good. Rebound that time to Van Buren. Crafton has it. Kicks it outside to uh, Newberry, who kicks it to Crafton, who buries it for three. Oh, that young man has scored 12. He's had him a game. He sure has. I thought he got three. They just said two, two Tommy. Yes, gave him two. Well, you know how I am. My, my eyes, that's why I'm not refereeing. Williams for three. No good. Rebound that time. Tipped out of bounds by Tipler. Van Buren will control, leading with 5.56 to go in this game, 62-61. Tell you what, Van Buren has impressed me. There's no quit in that bunch. I tell you, I like their hustle. I do, too. I like their hustle. They're scrappy. They get after it. They're shooting the ball well right now. I hope I don't jinx anybody because, again, folks, we don't have favorites. We no. come up here and announce the game. Ball taken away, a turnover that time. East Prairie has it. The ball into Woods. Woods puts it up. And it's going to be fouled. He does not make it, but uh, foul that time on Matt Crafton. His first going the line to shoot two will be Randy Woods. He has not scored in this fourth quarter. Just under, well, actually, we're, we're pushing the uh, uh, three-minute mark, two-and-a-half-minute mark. Woods uh, has 21 on the evening. He can make it 22 and 23 and put East Prairie back on top. His first shot, no good. He can tie the game now. Coming in is Freeze. Going out is uh, Crafton and also Burke. And also coming in for Van Buren is number 14, Tanner Smith. I'll tell you what, he, uh, that bench comes off. It sure does. They, they get a blow over there, and they're back in. Good ball game. Really enjoyed it. Second shot up, no good. Rebound that time by Tanner. Off of Newberry's hands. 
Quick pass over to the big guy. He drives in and scores. Nice passing that time by East Prairie as Williams hit Branham on the fly. 63-62, East Prairie back up on top. Ball into Hilberg. Down to Smith. Smith's going to take it out to Tucker. Tucker's going to go in, put up a jump shot. Ball tipped out of bounds by Jones. Jones done the right thing. He just got them hands up in there and didn't yes, try to did. swat it away. He drew a foul. Right. Freeze the inbound for the Van Buren Bulldogs. Crafton with the ball to Smith. Smith from 12. Puts it up. No good. Rebound on the floor that time to Smith. Smith to uh, Tucker. Tucker to Freeze. Freeze inside to Smith. He scores it. Very nice pass and a very nice shot. Smith with six on the evening. Van Buren has Van Buren has sca- uh, scattered her points around. Sure have. Reach in foul that time by number 23, Tyler Freeze. That's his first. We've got timeout on the floor with 4:44 to go in this game. Van Buren, the 12th seed, 64. The number five seed, East Prairie, 63. Skeeter Kale Sporting Goods, call Kenneth Store at 888-6678 or Lloyd Rice at 576-4471. Nike, Adidas, Russell, any and all kinds of major brand names in your favorite sporting goods. New location in Kenneth at 1300 Industrial Drive. That's Skeeter Kale Sporting Goods in Kenneth. We're wearing vests tonight from Skeeter Kale. Give them a call or stop by the Kenneth Store for all your sporting goods needs. You gotta, you gotta give East uh, East Prairie. I think was a little shocked that Van Buren came back on them like they did, and, and just worked that ball around, got a good shot, and took it, and and that's why they're back in. And they kicked their defense up, and they're playing very good. I think they've just, like I say, I think they've shocked East Prairie a little bit. Jerry Johnson just came back. He ran some of the, uh, for the first two game films back uh, to Malden Farce, and uh, David Black has already started editing those and. Uh, so we're glad to have him back. You I tell you what, you this is this has been a good ball game. Been a oh, lot of fun. Yeah. I tell you what, it's. I think East Prairie would kind of slowed down a little bit, thinking they had this in their pocket. And then you don't do that to a little scrappy bunch like Van Buren. Tell you what, Tommy, while we got a break in the action, we want to thank the fine folks uh, of Bloomfield School District for allowing Channel 21 to come up and do all 26 games. We want to thank their hospitality, especially in the hospitality room. They fed us. Yes, uh, I didn't get to have breakfast this morning due to the newscast. and came up here, and, boy, they just uh, got a good bowl of chili. And I've, I've had about three bowls of that. I know Connie's going to be happy with me tonight when I go in and says, hey, I got something for you. I say, I'm full. <laughs> had a lot of barbecue and uh, very good. Yes, it was. It, you know, anytime you come to Bloomfield, they treat you right. Oh, now. Well, all of these schools yeah, in our bad. in our area, Tommy, yes, we're, we're just very, uh, very uh, happy with, with the way we're, we're treated, Channel 21. We're back into uh, play now. Woods with a basketball for East Prairie. Gives the ball off to Williams. Williams dribbling around the outside into Tony Jones. Jones to Tipler. Tipler puts up a jump shot, scores it. Tipler double pumped that time. He sure did. Hit it. Shot it on the way down. Tell you what, they're not getting the ball to the big man, That's Tony right. Jones. And when they do, they're, they're double teaming him, and he's kicking the ball out. Freeze with the basketball for Van Buren to Newberry down to Tucker inside to the big guy. He's going to take it to the hole, puts it up, scores it. Nice move. It sure was. Jackson Hilberg with uh, six now. Nice move. He looked to pass that ball out. Big as he is, he took it where he should, right to the hole. Good fake, good move, put it up and in. 66-65, Van Buren back on top. 3.50 to go in this game. We got a walking call that time on Tipler. Well, they're wanting to get that ball into Jones, but Van Buren's doing a nice job. They sure are. They've done exactly what they needed to do, shut him down and Woods down because Woods uh, has not scored in this uh, period, and uh, the big guy Jones has only scored two. Inside is Tucker for a shot off the rim. Tipler with the rebound. East Prairie off and running. Tipler's going to drive in, puts up a layup. Nice nice move. Paris Tipler. He's got six on the evening, four and a quarter. 67-66, 67-66, East Prairie on top, 3.15 to go. Well, the fans are getting into the game. Freeze has got the ball inside the Hillberg. Hillberg back out to Newberry for three, buries it. Buries it. Ian Newberry, his first bucket of the night. A big one, 69-67. Van Buren on top by two with 2.57 to go. We're under three minutes, Tommy. 
Tipler with the basketball. Goes in, puts in a running jumper, scores it. Paris Tipler starting to heat it up. Yes, he is. Tipler's type of boy, too. You, he'll take over this game if you don't watch it. He's got six and a quarter, eight in the evening. Newberry to Freeze. Back to Newberry. Over to Tucker to Hilberg. Back to Freeze. Ball tipped away by Woods. Nice defensive yeah. play. Woods is going to go in, puts up a layup. Scoop shot, no good. Tipped up by Jones, no good. Tucker will control for Van Buren. 2.25 to go. Game tied, 69 all. Hillberg from 14, scores it. He has eight on the evening, 71-69. Two minutes to go. Fans are really liking this yes, game. They they're, they're into it. Jones tries to hit Branham going down the lane off his fingertips with 2.07 to go. Coming into the game is Burke for Van Buren. Coming out is Tanner Smith. Van Buren has substituted freely in this yeah. game, done a very nice job. Very impressed with Paul Lynch, the coach of Van Buren. He's into the game, I can tell you that. He sure is. Van Buren is going to make East Prairie come out and get him. They pulled the ball out. They want East Prairie out of that zone. They want him in a man-to-man. Burke with a basketball for Van Buren. He gives it to Tanner, to Burke. Gives it to Freeze. Freeze is driving in. He's going to go in and put up a layup. Scores it. it. I'll tell you what, Tyler Freeze has had a game. He's had 14. He sure has. Very impressed with a sophomore. Tipler with the basketball. Drives in, puts up a layup. No good. Tony Jones tries to get the rebound. The ball out of bounds off his fingertips. Van Buren will control. We've got timeout on the floor with 123 to go in the game. It's Van Buren 73, East Prairie 69. Hey, when a number five seed plays a number 12 seed, and we've sat here and looked at the height difference of East Prairie and Van Buren, that's why you don't play them on paper. You play them on the court. That little scrappy team that's fought there or not, fall all day long. They have. And there's uh, 83 seconds to go in the game. One minute, 23 seconds. This has been a dandy. 73-69, Van Buren on top. I tell you what, Tommy, uh, I've done a lot of basketball. This is this has been a lot of fun. This has been a – all the other games got a bit one-sided, but I tell you, this has been a ball game. And I'll be the first to admit, earlier I thought, well, I thought East Prairie was just going to keep easing out and easing out and end up beating them 20 or 30 points. But, boy, this little bunch just kept scrapping and scrapping and stayed in this thing. I'm very impressed with them. And I believe I believe they've got the crowd on their side. Well, the, the crowd is. I tell you, any time, though, and that's, that's right. you know, when, when you've got a, a high seed, sure. they pull for the underdog unless if you're from that, that exactly. town or school. And, and that, that's just natural. Again, we're not pulling for anybody, no, right. and I hope hope you can tell that in our inflection of our voice. We're just happy to be here, bring the games. We like to see good basketball. This is a good game. This has been a good basketball game. You hit the nail on the head. Van Buren has figured out that press. Now, sure. now as soon as I say that, watch them turn it over. <laughs> but they're, they're using the sideline and then going right on up the sideline, not giving them time to double team. Back to just the middle like that this, time man. to Burke. Van Buren, we got a foul that time on Randy Woods. That's going to be his third. Still not in a one and one. No, that's right. Neither team in a one and one. And I think that's what East Prairie's wanting to do is hurry up and get them in that one and one situation uh, just in case that they need to stop the clock to get the ball back. Inbounding the ball is freeze to Burke. Nobody in foul trouble. Newberry with the basketball. He's going to be fouled by Tipler. It's been a well played game. Been a, it has. It's been a fair game and a well called game. That's Tipler's third. He's the only player on the floor with three fouls. Six foul that time on East Prairie. Next foul will put Van Buren in the one and one. Newberry with the basketball. Big boy Tipler's on him, and he is called with the foul. He didn't like that. He thought he had the steal. Going to line to shoot a one and one will be Ian Newberry. He has not been to the line tonight. He has a three pointer in this quarter, a big three big pointer. pointer. Young man has played a good floor game, I will tell you that. Yes, he has. His first shot up, he scores it. 74-69, the biggest lead for Van Buren. One minute, seven seconds to go, 74-69. Second one up, falls in. Ian Newberry with five on the evening, all in the quarter. Six-point lead by Van Buren. 
Williams with the ball to Woods. Inside to Jones. We're going to have a foul at time on the big guy. Jackson Hilberg is first. Van Buren, or East Prairie will take the ball out of bounds. That's only the sixth foul. The next foul will put right. East Prairie into one and one. We're under one minute, 59.3 seconds to go. Ball out in the corner to Woods. Woods is going to drive. Puts up a layup. No good. Rebound tipped out of bounds by East Prairie. Van Buren will control the ball with 54.8 seconds to go. Up 75-69. Bill Berg will inbounds. We got a timeout on the floor as Coach Lynch thought that they weren't going to get the ball in, didn't want the turnover, so he called quick timeout. So with 54.8 seconds to go in this game, Van Buren on top, 75-69. We'll be right back. Three Rivers Community College is a great place. A great place. A great place to start college or career classes. Three Rivers affordable tuition. Means Pell Grants go further. I can use A+. I got a scholarship. To learn more, go to trcc.edu or call 877-TRY-TRCC. Get started at TRCC. Enroll now for summer and fall classes at TRCC. Three Rivers Community College is a great place. A great place. A great place to start college. Why pay university prices? When the same classes at TRCC cost a lot less. I can use A+. I get individual attention. I'm close to home. To learn more, go to trcc.edu or call 877-TRY-TRCC. Get started at TRCC. Enroll now for summer and fall classes at TRCC. Three Rivers Community College is a great place. A great place. A great place to start career training. At TRCC, I'm getting training for a good job with a good salary. Three Rivers has high-tech equipment. Great instructors. And convenient classes. To learn more, go to trcc.edu or call 877-TRY-TRCC. Get started at TRCC. Enroll now for summer and fall classes at TRCC. Three Rivers Community College is a great place. A great place. A great place to start career training. At TRCC, I'm getting training for a good job with a good salary. Three Rivers has high-tech equipment. Great instructors. And convenient classes. To learn more, go to trcc.edu or call 877-TRY-TRCC. Get started at TRCC. Enroll now for summer and fall classes at TRCC. What a ball game we have seen here. And, you know, as you said earlier, that's, you know, this game's not over. we got a 5 seed and a 12 seed. But uh, I, th I think East Prairie kind of slacked up. And you can't slack up on a team like Van Buren because Van Buren just decided, well, if you're going to give it to us, we're going to take it. And they just started bringing in and started hitting the good shots, hit open shots, work that ball around, hit open shots, never rushed anything. And I don't believe those young men got excited a bit. They just stayed calm. Well, they were down by as many as 13 in yeah. that uh, second quarter because at, uh, at halftime it's 44-31, and they may have been down even more than that. And they just kept chipping away, and they got hot, and they scored about nine points in a row and got back into the game, and, and uh, they haven't been out of it since. No. matter of fact, they've got the lead. Hilberg did inbound. Gives the ball off the fingertips as uh, Freeze and Burke came together that time. Tipler did inbound for East Prairie. A lot of time this game yet. A lot of time. They're trying to go to Jones inside. Sure you can see that. Woods has it. He's going to drive. Puts up a layup. No good. Rebound that time. Tipped around. Woods gets it back. Puts it up. No good. Rebound by Burke of East Prairie. He's going to be fouled by Randy Woods of East Prairie. That's his fourth. Going the line to shoot a one and one will be Curtis Burke. Curtis Burke pounded those boards in the trees in there. He's went right in there with the big boys and rebounded. Burke with 18 on the night. Comes the line to shoot a one and one. Big free throws. Yes, yeah, big free throws. Got to hit them down the stretch. Free throw up. Scores it. Second one for Burke. Scores it. Boy, it puts him up bait, Tommy, with uh, 40 seconds to go in this game. Williams with the basketball. 
Kipler a long way out for three Man. scores. Oh, and he, boy, he, he, he NBA range. Yeah. 77 72 with 36 seconds to go. Timeout on the floor. Tommy, I, I liked what Van Buren did. They didn't really uh, press hard, but they pressed enough to, to run a few seconds off the clock. Tipler gets the ball. He eyes it. And Tipler's really had a big fourth quarter as he has got nine and a quarter, 11 on the game. He has uh, three twos and a three, and uh, he is he's kept them in. Sure, yeah. That, yeah, like you say, Van Buren had that token pressure. Just let them know they're there. Slow them down a little bit. But I tell you what, Van Buren has shut down that inside game. Well, let me tell you, just what I was getting ready to say, Right there is, right there is uh, Jones. He has uh, 18 in the first half. Now we're talking about Tony Jones. He has two in the third quarter. Hadn't scored since. He has 20. Here's uh, Randy Woods with uh, 16 in the first half. He has a three in the uh, third period and two free throws and hasn't scored in the fourth period. So, uh, you know, those two guys, as you said, of course, uh, Woods plays on the outside, right. but he's got a lot of his points in the paint. Right. And he hasn't, when he's gone in, he hasn't been able to convert. 35.9 seconds to go in this game. It's 77-72. East Prairie up, or pardon me, Van Buren on top of East Prairie by five. Big possession Very, here. Big possession. East Prairie's got to get, or Van Buren's got to get the ball in. They've got him hung up. They've got him down in the corner right where they want him. We've got a timeout by Van Buren with 29 seconds to go. Just Good. exactly where they wanted him. They want that ball in the corner right. so they can double team and, and of course, uh, craft in and not taking anything away from the young man. He's only 5'6". And you put uh, Tony Jones exactly. on him and you put Tipler on him. I mean, those guys are 5'10 uh, and 6'3", and uh, he can't see. No, that's right. And, and you know, uh, and the coach over there did a, a, the best thing to do, call a timeout. Oh, yeah. Let's set this thing up. we got to get out of that corner. Yeah. Nice call. Yeah. Good play on both sides. Yep. 29 seconds to go. Van Buren will have the ball at uh, their defensive end of the court. These last ball game. This last uh, minute and a half has taken some time oh, to play, sure, but yeah. you know what? That's what basketball is all about. It's a lot of fun to watch. Hey, we have we have saw a ball game. It's been a good one now. Well, it's Van Buren's game to lose. Yes, now. it is exactly. And, and what we mean by that, they they've got control. They've got the ball up by five with uh, less than 30 seconds to go. All they've got to do is get it in bounds, get it down the floor. If they get fouled, take it to the line, make it. That's right. And uh, you st that's the way you win basketball games. Inbounding for Van Buren will be Hilberg. Jones is on him. They're both about the same height. Van Buren having trouble getting in. We got a turnover, five seconds. That's what East Prairie wanted That's to do. Up. They got after it on defense. Yeah, it no time elapsed off the clock. East Prairie will have the ball in their front court. Tipler will inbounds. You know they've got to look for the big guy. Got to. They're looking for Jones. Woods has it. Gives it down to Tipler. Tipler in the corner for three. No good. Rebound that time by Freeze. Freeze has it. We're down to 20 seconds. We've got a foul by Tony Jones. Tony Jones, his second foul. Going to line to shoot a one and one is going to be Tyler Freeze, he has not been to the line tonight. He has 12 points. Big free throws, 20.9 sure, yeah. seconds to go. Van Buren up by five. Free throw up, no good. Tony Jones with the rebound. Down to 15 seconds, gives the ball to Woods. Woods gonna drive, puts up a layup. We've got a foul. With 14.1 seconds to go, Woods drives in. Foul that time on Hilberg. It's going to be his second. Going the line to shoot two is going to be Randy Woods. He's one for four. Uh, pardon me. He's three for six here tonight from the free throw line. Big free throws for East Prairie. They need them. Yes, that's right. First one up, no good. Fourteen point one seconds, seventy-seven, seventy-two. They need this because they they apply the pressure after they make it, uh, after they make the free throw on the out of bounds. Ball in and out. Ball rebounded in there by Burke, and we're going to have a foul with twelve point four seconds to go. Going to the line to shoot a 
I don't know if that's a 10th foul or not. I don't know if they've changed it. The foul is on number 32, Paris Tipler. That's his fourth. Going to the line to shoot two. It is the double bonus. Will be Curtis Burke. Burke is first one up. No good. Second one up. No good. Off the rim. Rebound by Tipler. We're under 10 seconds to go in the game. Tipler with the basketball. Going to put up a three-pointer from the top of the key. In and out. Rebound Jones. Puts up a hook shot. Scores it. We got timeout on the floor with 2.8 seconds to go. It's 77-74. Tonight's game is also brought to you by Boomers Productions. The next time your company needs a commercial, safety, informational, or music video made, please contact Boomers Productions. Working with Maldonite Productions, we can produce your next video requirement. We also bring to your local news and programming as seen on Channel 21 and the New Wave Communications Network. We're currently seen in Bernie, Bloomfield, Essex, Campbell, Dexter, and Malden, and looking forward to serving more towns in Southeast Missouri and Northeast Arkansas viewing area. Boomers Productions and Channel 21, your hometown channel. Call 281-2121 or visit our website at boomersproductions.com. Also, our toll-free number outside the Malden area, 877-566-2121. Tommy, Tommy, you got 2.8 seconds to go. You're down by three. Oh, I'll tell you what, it's a big possession. I, I don't know, they're because you know what East Prairie's going to do. They're going to hound that inbound pass and try to get that ball. And they don't have to get that, because whoever, if they get the ball inbound, you've got to have to hit a free throw, because they're going to foul you immediately. Well, and, and I would say maybe go long, but who knows? You know, they got some fast kids. I don't know. I might try to go long on them. What's, what's going to happen now? You've got uh, Van Buren. Uh, or uh, pardon me, East Prairie, they're going to have to, if they uh, get the ball back, That's they're right. going to have to shoot it from the three-point line That's or right. take it inside, hope they get fouled. 77-74, right. 2.8 seconds to go. Van Buren got a chance for the first upset of the tournament. They will inbound the ball on their defensive end. Regardless how this game comes out, it's been a nice game. Jackson Hillberg will inbound. He's a 6'3 junior. On him is Jones. He can use the entire baseline. He can go up and down. They throw back across out of bounds, and here comes a pass, and that's good. That's going to end the ball game. Going in for the layup. The bucket will not count. Well, they're going to count it. I believe they're going to count it. Let's see. They did not count it. It's 77-74, Van Buren. What a nice inbound play. Yes, I had not thought of that. That's right. I had what either. a nice, nice inbound play that they drew up. First upset of the tournament as the number 12 seed, Van Buren Bulldogs, come in and upset the number 5 seed, East Prairie Eagles, 77-74. Tommy, take it away. Well, I just, my hat's off to the Van Buren Bulldogs. We looked at it. We looked at the sheets before the game. The Eagles of East Prairie had them height wise, and we just. But you don't play them on paper. But this little team from Van Buren just kept clawing and clawing and stayed in that thing. And they had a chance to give up a few times, but they didn't. They stayed after it. Played a very smart game. I'm very impressed with their coach. And then they once they took the lead, East Prairie got shook a little bit. And I tell you what, there you go. You have, we have an upset. Well, here's the scoring right quick for the uh, winning uh, Van Buren uh, Bulldogs. And I hope I'm right on the Bulldogs. Am I right on that? Yeah. I've been calling right. them Bulldogs yeah, all right. night. I yeah. hope I'm right. Mm-hmm. They go to 4-4 four and four on the season. Matt Crafton with 11 played a very good sure ball game. Did. Ian Newberry with 5. Tanner Smith with 6. Brandon Tucker with 6. Curtis Burke with 20. 14 by Tyler Freeze. 6 by Sam Simmons. 8 by Jackson Hillberg. Total of 77 points. For East Prairie, who now goes to five and three. Randy Woods had a nice game, 21, but he got 16 of those in the first half. They shut him down in the second half. Yeah, yeah. MC Williams with three. Ryan Jones with five. You had 12 by uh, Tyler Branham. You had 22 by Tony Jones. You had 11 by Paris Tipler. 74 points for the East Prairie Eagles. Tommy, any other uh, comments? How many turnovers did we have? Let's get those turnovers right quick on both teams. Let's get the turnovers right quick on both teams. Van Buren had 20, and East Prairie had 16. 
East Prairie 16. And, uh, that, that, that again, uh, East Prairie, uh, uh, the first half, most of the turnovers were there on uh, Van Buren. In the second half, they came out and uh, turned the tables on East Prairie and, and uh, put a little pressure on them. Thank you very much.